Hi, I'm Mark Bruno with Printing News and PrintingNews.com. And we're here at Graph Expo 2015 in Chicago, day three of the show. Joining us now is Mal Baboyan. Mal is Executive VP of Canon Solutions America. Welcome, Mal. Thank you. Well, good to thank see you. you. Thank you. It's been a pretty good show, and I'm glad to be here. Good. The traffic's been good so it far? It has. And, uh, you know, everybody thinks that things are declining, and um, we're not seeing much of that. And I'm on the executive board of GAS, so I get the statistics. And so we're doing pretty well this year. Good. Well, you're, you, know, you head up the print production area of, of Canon and OSE. Um, Two, two areas that are growing, uh, you know, wide format especially, um, you know, and, and I just wanted to get, get your take on the growth. Uh, you know, do you, do you see that area growing, you know, modestly or, or, or really, really fast, Mel, uh, as, as we look ahead to 2016? So if we specifically talk about uh, wide format, um, I think we have to divide it up. So if you look at the technical documentation side, uh, architectural engineering drawings, that uh, business is really not growing. In fact, it's slowly declining, um, and uh, which is traditional as they go uh, uh, more electronic on some of the engineering drawings, and iPads are now going out in construction sites. However, if you then move over to the display graphics, the signage side, the banners, things like that, uh, we're seeing growth in that side. So our large format really is segmented into display graphics as well as technical documentation. Okay. And the other the other side of the business, obviously, which is very exciting for you, is production inkjet. It is. Um, yeah. So maybe maybe you could say a few words about the growth there. And again, is it is it modest? Is it is it high growth? Uh, looking ahead, we are seeing uh, with inkjet uh, color production printing uh, significant growth. Uh, in fact, if you look. Uh, in our uh, three-year plan, that's probably the, the largest percentage growth year over year. Uh, it's also uh, depends on uh, the industry. So if you take a look at the transactional industry, we're still seeing a decline in transactional printing. At the same time, we're seeing an increase in color transactional printing, so on, on inkjet devices. So inkjet uh, production printing and transactional is growing even though all of transactional is slightly declining. If you then move to promotional or publications, um, you're seeing growth there and you're going to see year over year growth in the neighborhood of 15 or 20 percent uh, when it comes to digital color. Uh, and that's where we're doing quite a bit of efforts in uh, product development, ink development, head development. Uh, but uh, the new color stream Z has just been announced and, and released that will address uh, that market as well as the direct mail market. The uh, image stream, uh, uh, 3500, and now we just announced the 2400, 20-inch uh, wide version um, of that product to address the graphic arts marketplace. And of course, the i300, previously some people referred to it as Niagara, um, a high-speed sheet-fed inkjet yes. device. That's the game changer, we think, in the industry. So when we, when we look at production inkjet as a whole, uh, are there, are there one or two factors, Mal, that you feel are, are really responsible for driving this growth um, in, you know, in that segment? Well, I, I think you have to go back 10 years. Mm -hmm. 10 years ago when we talked about inkjet, people went, oh yeah, inkjet, okay, pretty low quality. Uh, maybe it has a certain applications. Uh, there's been advancements that, that uh, are, are astounding in inkjet, oh, especially in the last three to four years. And, and, and those advancements have been in head technology certainly been in inks, but also what we've seen is the media companies, the media vendors in, in the United States have now embraced inkjet as the future, and all of a sudden their R&D investment in providing the right kind of medias have dramatically improved the quality uh, of uh, documents printed on inkjet, and so now there's no longer that issue of, wait, it's only suitable for transaction. All of a sudden it's suitable for everything. Okay. And, and let's switch gears again and, and go back to the, the wide format uh, side, uh, the, the, the sign and display side. What about the growth there? Is that uh, you know, driven again by, by what in your mind? Um, so if I take, I'll stay with the display graphics side uh, of the business. Uh, we're primarily in a flatbed arena today uh, with our flatbed devices. In flatbed, if I, if I categorize it into low volume, products, mid volume, high volume. The mid volume and high volume are not growing that much. Low volume is growing much faster. 
our new introduction of the 6170 has catapulted us up a little bit because it's a new product moving up in volume. It's taking some market share. Um, we also have uh, products like the ColorWave 900 and the ColorWave 700 that are moving into point of purchase and, and graphic arts as well. And we're seeing some real growth there. Uh, and R&D is really working on expanding our product portfolio there. So in the next several years, you'll see us move into new, new markets and, and products, technologies that we don't have today. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Looking ahead, Mal, is there anything on either side of the business that you feel could uh, you know, potentially impede growth, either in wide format or, or in the production ink set side? Um, on the production ink set side, I, the momentum uh, and the whole industry is so strong right now, uh, I, I don't see anything interrupting that momentum. Of course, you always have a threat of a recession uh, that might delay some uh, purchases or selling cycles. Right, right. Um, uh, I, uh, you know, we've never gone more than 10 years without a recession in the United States, so I anticipate another one shortly. But other than that, I don't think, I don't think there's a technological change that's going to impede it at all. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, I think you're going to see more and more development coming, uh, better quality uh, uh, inks as well as heads in the future. We're, we've just moved to some 1200 DPI heads on some of our products. Uh, I don't see any, any slowdown there. In fact, I see it continuing over the next three to five years quite strongly. On the large format side, uh, in technical documentation, uh, as companies move and, and understand how an iPad might work on a construction site, you might see an accelerated decline. I think you're going to see a five to six percent decline per year in volume of printing mm -hmm. and the technical documentation side over time. Still a transition to color, okay. Um, display graphics, um, I don't think signage is going away. Um, sure you have electronic signage on some billboards that you see out there, but you've got banners, um, you got point of purchase that's still growing and, and inkjet digital technology is really accelerating that area. Uh, textile printing is growing quite rapidly. So uh, I think you'll still see growth there for the foreseeable future. Okay, I want to ask you a product specific question now. Uh, a product I think you're showing here at the show and you may have already mentioned, the Osei Color Wave 700. Right. Um, can, you, can you tell us a little bit about where that device fits into the overall Osei and Canon portfolio and? Uh, you know, what applications it's targeted for? Okay, so let me talk about it. our strengths with the Reaper graphics community in the old days, we used to call them blueprinters. Okay. Um, uh, they're looking for new ways to get business. Um, they've traditionally been in technical documentation, they're moving into display graphics quite rapidly. This is a, a great product for that industry in that it, it serves a dual purpose. It handles their color technical documentation allows them also to move into signage, uh, into point of purchase um, banners. It'll print on a wider range of, of, of materials. Um, so uh, uh, canvas, for instance, things like that, that some of our other products can't do. So it enables this commercial printer, the repographer, to expand their business, um, but utilize it for what they currently do as they enter new businesses. So I think that's a big opportunity Quality is very good on the product, so um, but that's one vertical market that that we will certainly penetrate uh, with the uh, with the 700. Okay, interesting. Well, I just wanted to let our viewers know Matt Mal is a fascinating character. I mean that in a good way, and I'm going to put in a self-serving plug. We did a an executive interview with him, which is in the September issue of Inkjet's Age. So make sure you read it either online or in print. And I want to thank you for taking the time to say hello to us and and uh, throw some thoughts around today. Appreciate it, thank you. Thanks, man. Okay.